good technique, he will be elite. If his technique becomes great, not just good, then he's a Hall of Famer. Fighting through contact, fighting through off the line, being a double team, multiple moves stacked into one, just a play of pure domination. This is actual film, this is actual football talk. It's a football show, we're talking football, not storylines. First thing you're going to see is aggressiveness. And, you know, again, this is, this is, or not again, but this isn't a play that's the most sexy or, or thing you're going to see on ESPN highlights or, or one of these stupid highlight films that are, that are three minutes with somebody making a wide open interception like Joyner. You know, I made fun of it before with Cole. I'm sure you already watched that episode. Um, a lot of them are dumb. Like you see him make wide open interceptions with the quarterback just throws it to him. Like, okay, cool. You know, it's an interception. But plays like this are more impactful to me. Um, they're going throughout a rub, a rub pick concept to the bottom right here. Uh, basically, Joyner is going to jam this receiver so hard, which just shows his, his aggressiveness. Which he's, he's an ultra aggressive player. Um, I really like him, to be completely honest, in, in a lot of ways. Um, and his, aggress- his aggressiveness is a, is a main reason why. But again, you want to be aggressive on the goal line. He shows that aggressiveness, and he doesn't allow. I believe he tries to push vertical right here, and then the, the slant tries to come underneath of it. Um, like the, the bullet slant, the one-step slant. Um, and you're just going to watch him blow up the play. All because of aggressiveness that that happened is because he's not willing to get to give that ground like we talk about on the goal line. Um, you'd see, again, some of the some of the corners we've done, we've done um, that you watched, I'm sure, you know, whether it be Don or Pinnock, well, maybe not Pinnock, but Don or let's say Eccles or Carter, whoever it may be, a lot of corners will retreat here. And then what that allows – to happen here is the is the natural pick rub to, to to set in and now you have a you know a slant for a touchdown so um him being aggressive right here does not allow that so really really like that um from from Jordan first that's like the, for one of the first plays i watched it's like okay you know again not a huge thing but nice to see uh Joyner beat but pass deflection he's right here in the slot Again, you see some of the some of the speed. He's, he's I'd say decent speed. Um, it's not great speed for sure. He's not he's not a burner. Um, he has pretty good acceleration, and obviously the playing on the ball there is pretty good. But uh, we'll talk about that in, in a second. And initially, it's he he gets beat inside again. Sh- quick stretch release inside um, on the deep over, and the the reason he gets he gets beat inside is. Doesn't really get a. He's not really playing over the top. He's a little bit. He's a little bit outside, and you can see his feet kind of get a little hoppy right there, where his two feet hop. It's not. It's nothing crazy, um, but it's just enough for the receiver to win. To win inside, doesn't get beat badly here. It, he just. He just gives up inside leverage. So beat is a little bit of an overstatement. Um, he is in trail, not in an ideal position. You know, on and over versus a good ball. So it's and it's only because of slight movements. It's because of the not shuffling inside. It's because of the. Um, the, the slight, the slight like jump split right here, like a little hop right there gives him up from inside. But again, the good, th- the thing about it is again, the speed gets on his hip, looks back to the ball and is able to dive through and uh, make the pass deflection. Now, if the ball was in front of him, does he make this play? Probably not. So we have to be fair at that point. If the ball, if, if it wasn't a bad ball, and the receiver could keep running and didn't have to gear down and, and work back to the ball just a little bit. It's a split little – not it's and he doesn't have to work back to it. He just has to – the ball is slightly behind him. But if the ball is over the top and to the sideline, Joyner's probably not making his play. You know, I, I think it's pretty fair to say that. Um, but overall, good play, good play on the ball, obviously. Plays it, dives. You see the effort. Um, good play, but a bad play at the same time. Next, Joiner off man. Okay, um, he is right here. And let's watch. I don't know if this is good or bad. Pretty good. So this is where we. St- this is this is a good play. Um, looks like these. Looks like him and. Baron, I think that is maybe um, playing like first in, first out type deal. But what we see is Joiner identify his threat. Hold on. Sorry. Here, 
car door cl- close like right outside my window. I'm like, there's not supposed to be anybody here right now. <laughs> Imagine it's like my freaking mom with my grandpa and grandma. Like, oh, they're coming to visit you today. It's like, fuck. Guess I'm only doing curry. I mean, only doing joiner, no curry today. <laughs> um, but what you see is threat identifies, stemming inside. Joiner does a good job, good job working over the top, squaring up. So initially, you know, angles off, but as he jumps inside, um, you know, athleticism and stuff like that, he's going to, he's going to be able to square back up, squares back up right over the stem. Perfect. Exactly what you want to do. Stay over top of it. Even get the next extra shuffle in right there. Stay over the top, hands on crowd, the crowd, the route break and com- and just completely attach himself, glue himself to the outfield shoulder. Can't play that any better. And off coverage. That's exactly what we talk about being square. It's exactly what he does. It's great. When he comes into contact, shoulder over his knees, not leaning too much with the waist, good leverage, which he has natural good leverage because he's, he's smaller. Um, to be exact, let's say, what is his height? Oh, I didn't even put it in here, idiot. Uh, five, five, nine, I, I, I think. But natural good leverage. Usually I put height and weight. I don't know why I didn't for for joiner. Um, man, play ball. Okay, I don't know. I I guess I cut it short. Something happened here. Okay, I I don't know why this is recorded like this. But again, I, apparently I screwed up. Um, he was in man coverage from the field side. For however he got tight, he got tight to the upfield upfield shoulder. Um, is matching, and then does a great job in terms of wrapping his, his, the inside arm. Again, if you're over the top, wrap your inside arm and play with the, with the upfield arm. And if you're a little bit underneath, you wrap with the outside, play with the inside and, um, does a good job wrapping with the, with the inside playing through the hands, diving through plays the ball for, um, what is a pass deflection or does he catch it? Is he, is that ball brought in? Doesn't doesn't look like it. It might have been. Even if it was, it's a great play on the ball. You can see his hand clearly affect the, the catch right there. Yeah, I'm not sure if the, the this whoever this is was able to play it out, but um good job playing it at least by by Jordan. There's gonna be times obviously with his with his height and his lack of arm length that he's going to be beat and be boxed out by some receivers, by maybe some tight ends if he hits a matchup on them. But overall, you can't really play the ball better than I'm sorry. I don't know why I recorded like that. Um, pick six. He's in the, he's in, a, I, th- I think this is like a cover three and he drops, he, dro- he, he angles off into the curl, the flat right here of the cover three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And one bad decision by the quarterback, obviously um, here, but you see body control, you see the hands, you see the athleticism on the exit angle to get out there. Um, good job just staying aware. Obviously, looking back at the quarterback, he knows he knows he has to get under that route, but he, he he's aware of where the route is. While um, looking back at the quarterback, quarterback expects that he could beat him on that speed out for an easy, you know, four or five yards. And again, uh, Joyner just has the athleticism to get out. Quarterback makes a terrible decision. Like it's, you know, nothing overly complicated here. Um, it's, it's again, just athleticism looking the ball and obviously the little pirouette in, in, in midair, the little three, six, he catches the ball, good hands, all that. Um, nothing crazy. Again, just broken to curl the flat. And uh, the quarterback makes an absolutely dreadful decision, but pretty good hands. You know, not the easiest catch to make good catching, good catching a, uh, technique in terms of his hands nice and tight extension body control acceleration to get uh to get not to the touchdown but to get out into the curl of the flat again and he just the quarterback just not in, in, anticipating that um those movement skills from joiner playing off right here man on the crowder and there's crowder He is a guy in coverage who will fall for like 
you know, um, rocker steps, band steps, misdirections, like, and especially this is why he shouldn't be playing slot, you know, like should he be matched up on Jameson Crowder, who is a very good route runner? Like that's his best trait of Crowder route running. (laughs) Like, so when you have a guy, um, in Crowder who is going to, to stem vertical, just give a head fake outside, which is not a good job by Joyner. Let's be completely honest, but he, he, he beats him bad. Um, now why does he beat him bad? Because he, he falls pretty hard for, for the, for the head fake. Um, and he does something that he, before he didn't do again, you're in off coverage. You don't have to be jumpy when you're this far off. You you're affording yourself the opportunity to play a little bit more patient until he closes up more ground. But when he's this far away, weave over the top, shuffle over the top. You don't have to weave because you're far off Just shuffle over the top, stay square on him. And if, and if he breaks to the outside, you have plenty of room to make it up. So you don't have to, you don't have to angle off right here. You don't have to open the gate, but he opens the gate way too early. This is not a good position to be in when he's breaking inside. So he's, he's way too impatient right here. Um, and, and just, and just falls for that, for that head fake outside and I gets beat badly. Um, nice drop by Crowder, little drop step to turn up field. And uh, gets the gets the first down on Joiner. Don't want to see that. Again, this is why he shouldn't be playing corner, in my opinion. Uh, locked eyes. Another thing that he he will do um, in terms of like recognition, staying over top of routes. He he will look into the backfield. He will key on the quarterback for too long, and he and he can get looked off. Um. So in terms of like him playing deep on like a cover three, don't necessarily want it. Now it's like now it's like. You know, cover four, where he's playing like more man on a on a guy. I'm more comfortable with that. Um, cover two, oh, I'm, a, I'm you know I guess I'm okay with, but um, he is uh, a little bit undisciplined with his eyes at times. So right here on the near hash, again, and he's playing in cover two and he has to play over top of these route concepts and they run a, they run a post. Uh, it's a, it's a post wheel, um, but it's like an out and up from, from a uh, crowd right there. And he tends to, to focus on the quarterback and you'd like to see him obviously leverage himself differently here. Um, you have Tremaine Johnson, who's over top of the, of the out and up the wheel. You have this corner who's in a, a bad position in terms of a vertical relationship to this corner, uh, to this receiver who's running a post and you're going to see um, Joiner get into an exit angle into the into the cover two, and never never really see it, you know. And clean pocket, good quarterback steps up, throws this ball. He was deep in cover two. That's his responsibility to play anything anything deep to assist his his corners. And this uh, they run a little again like switch post wheel, um, and Joiner's not in position to play this now. For, I think it's Terrell Pryor, right? back in 2017 or 2017, but, uh, don't like this in terms of him trying, you know, like not an easy throw to make, but if the ball was, was released here, he's he, a, a good quarterback can fit that in. So I'm not sure why he's trying to leverage himself over a, let's call it a wheel out and up, whatever again, um, that Tremaine Johnson has position on when this is the, the threat vertically. Sides are locked on the quarterback the entire time. Deep man aware. Okay. So one play not aware, one play aware. Right here, they're playing, looks like probably going to be a jambo. Press the point, take the point, first in, first out. Yep. First in, second in, first out, second out. Oh, this is not even him. Or no, is it? Is he here? Hold on. Let's just watch the play real quick. Hold on. Is that Joiner? Or is this Joiner? Did I screw this up? That looks like Joiner. Yeah, I don't think that's Joiner based on his body type. I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is Joiner. Um, again, 
transparency. I recorded this probably four months ago, three months ago. Oh, okay. I think that's what I was talking about. Okay. Sorry. I was, I, was, I had a deep man aware. I was like, what the hell, what am I talking about here? Um, so the, the awareness comes from playing, playing an off man. Um, I'm, I'm the number one right here. Um, of the, the jambo, like I said, and puts himself in good position. I don't necessarily love him opening up right here when you don't really have a lot of inside help. So I would like to see, you know, more of, more of weave instead of, instead of, you know, shuffle to be again, transparent, like dig right here. He's pretty screwed. So you gotta, you gotta watch him opening up early here. Um, the thing I do like though, is once he gets on top of the route and he's breaking outside, he gets his eyes to the quarterback, sees the balls coming out. And then he, and he, he drifts off to, to, to assist on this, you know, whether the ball be inside, like if let's say if it was shortened inside, he could pick it off. Um, or if it was just to assist on tackle, I do like that he gets his eyes back to the quarterback right here and plays off of his route to, to, to assist with this. Now, again, he, you know, it's outside of him and stuff, but I do like the awareness to, to stack and then uh, to assist on it. So that's where the awareness comes from. That's what I, that's what I was talking about. That, that confused me with the deep man and aware. I was like, what? Um, Again, be careful though with, with this, with this at that point right here, if this was a, you know, a shorter dig or even a dig in general, uh, he's, he's beat. Next nine, uh, deep one bloating defense, uh, big hit. Okay. Uh, deep right here. Yeah, I'm not sure what the miscommunication is here, but looks like based on how everybody else playing is it's like a it's a cover one hole. We got man, 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 deep one, hole player, man. So and yeah, that doesn't make much sense. Unless, you know, if they were like capping this guy and he was playing over the top, then he took him man, and then he was to like play like an invert one or something like that, where like he exits to the one like that that would make some sense um or if this was like a cover one like cut or jump where he was playing uh man coverage and then if he drove inside quickly jordan was a little bit more shallow drove down and he replaced like a like i said like a cut or a jump makes sense but for him to get outside of him him not playing him uh, i'm not sure what they're trying to do here but you're gonna see joiner be aware of the of where the quarterback is throwing the ball because he's looking at the quarterback again. He stares at the quarterback probably a little bit too much for me. Um, but when you're playing cover one, sometimes you could obviously you could do that. Um, you do want to be aware of the of the routes on what's open. But sees the quarterback throw the ball to this to this direction to to joiner's left to the quarterback's right. He drives to that side. Seam is open. Run again, vert seam. Mm -hmm.